more often than not you have to deal with text in Excel and you have to change the case of the text so in this lesson I'm going to show you how to do this in three ways the first one is with a formula the second one is using flash fill and the third one is using fonts so let's start if you see here I have some data and I have the names of some actors and the first thing I want to do I want to convert this to uppercase so what do I do well there is a formula called upper if I open the parenthesis I select Will Smith close the parenthesis I get Will Smith in uppercase and then I can double click here and I get the rest to do lower it's the same concept there is a formula called lower so equal lower open parenthesis select what you have and then just drag it or double click and for proper what does proper mean it means I want a W in capital letter and the S in capital letter there is a formula called proper you select your text and as you can see I just fixed it now the problem with this is here I have multiple spaces and I even have a space after the word if you see I have a couple so the problem is when I use my formulas I still see this space how to get rid of this problem well we can use the trim formula so trim will remove any extra space that you have before the words after the words and in the middle so if I do trim and I select Will Smith and then I just drag the formula you can see that my extra spaces are gone and now instead of directing the formula to column A I'm going to select column B I'll do the same for all of them and then the same for proper and I select the three of them I just double click and as you can see my extra space is gone you can also combine it this way you can say equal proper you open the parenthesis then you do trim then you open the parenthesis you select Will Smith one parenthesis close second close and then you get it in one go so this is the first methodology the second methodology is flash fill so for example I want to fix this I will do Will Smith I'll type one of them and then I can just select this range and I'll do Control E it will do flash fill Excel is smart enough to understand the pattern that I have here now the problem with this one is that I still have the space so how to fix it you can just remove this and then you can fix one of them and then let's just for example add another space after Sandra and then we just do Control E and then everything is fixed also you can find the same flash fill under home and then if you go here you have flash fill so you can use it from here and this is the shortcut to do lower it's the same thing Will Smith Angelina Jolie as you can see the new version of Excel proposed the flash fill automatically so if I press enter it automatically does it for me and then here if I do Will Smith Angelina Jolie enter you get everything in a proper way now this methodology is okay to do something quick but if you have a change here it's not gonna change here you have to redo the operation another time whereas for formulas if I change something here it will be reflected automatically the last way to do this is to use special fonts so there are fonts that have all capital letter for example so if I select my name I can just copy it here then I go here I have Calibri but if I look for example I have Algerian so Algerian has every letter in capital I can also find others for example if I go here I have copper plate gothic again same thing now if you don't like the fonts what you could do is you go to one of those websites and you can download new fonts so for example if I open here you can see that I have those three websites open 
I can go here and I can check the fonts that I want and I can download them. On this one, for example, you have this one, Bebas Neo. And then if you download it, you need to open the file that you download by double clicking on it. Then you just press install. Once it's installed, it will be on all your office applications. You just need to close your Excel sheet and open it again. And then the new font will appear here. And based on this, you can select this font and have everything, for example, in a capital letter. So that's it for upper and lower case. Let me know in the comment section which methodology you prefer. To be honest, my favorite is the formula one because it's more safe and it will change if my original data set changes.